everybody, Diane from California Tea and Herbal. First of all, I want to thank all of you who contributed ideas to what you would like to see on this tea channel, and they were great suggestions. I'm already in the process of really thinking those through and coming up with videos that will answer those suggestions. And so today I'm going to do a super short video, and it's on a subject I've never talked about here. Now, uh, I don't know if you've ever even heard about people rinsing their tea. Some people do. In China, it's common to rinse the tea. And I would like to show you how simple it is if you indeed do want to rinse your tea. I don't before steeping, but uh, one of the things that this will do is remove any little bits of tea dust and fannings, you know, the little teensy broken pieces of tea. And those are usually put just into tea bags and they tend to make the tea bitter. So uh, if you get those out by rinsing, then you will have a smoother cup of tea, say the people who promote rinsing the tea. Now another reason some people rinse the tea, they just feel like it's, it's healthier to rinse the tea. So uh, I will say that one thing this will not do, it will not remove the caffeine from the tea. There used to be a rumor very widely spread within the tea community that if you steep your tea for 30 seconds and then pour out that infusion, that that gets rid of 80% of the caffeine. No, it doesn't. Um, really doesn't. And I was one who kind of believed that until I saw the data and, and kept reading about it. And the best tea scientist, probably the most um, eminent tea scientist in the world, Nigel Melikin, has studied caffeine in tea extensively. And I have a video that goes into that in quite a bit of depth, and I will put that up at the end of, of this video. But uh, what he found was it takes a full 15 minutes to get all the caffeine out through steeping. So and by that time, the tea is going to be you know, ruined, basically, and bitter. Um, there are some exceptions. Some in, in India, for instance, um, tea is boiled for long periods of time, makes it extremely strong, and then they make it very sweet. But we won't get into all that. This is the subject of do you want to rinse your tea? And if you do, it's so simple that, well, I wonder why I'm doing a video, but I think it's something that um, probably is hopefully helpful. And I use just like this ladle for this video since I don't rinse mine. I found holes that will keep the tea leaves in, but it will let anything that might be broken or tea dust or fannings will go through. Now, um, I'm going to show you, this is a very small leaf tea I'm putting in. So, um, if, they, if you have a really, like a long leaf tea, like Longines, you are not, some of this will fall through just because it itself is so, uh, one of the smaller leafed teas because it's, it's just processed that way. It's a little more broken than some of the loose leaf that we sell. But it's called Vietnam Vanilla and it's delicious. So here's how to rinse it. The amount that you're going to steep, just put it in something like a ladle like this with holes or um, a sieve. Now, if you put it through one of those handheld sieves, uh, the holes might be too small. Uh, also, if you use an infuser, that's definitely the holes are too small. But uh, get the holes just to be the size where the, the bulk of this tea will stay in and then rinse it with hot water. Just pour the water over it all over it, move it around, so it's just rinsing that tea thoroughly for just about five seconds. You can count it out. I'm just going to estimate here. And then I'll show you what's falling through. But the bulk of it is, is still here, and now I would steep what is left, and it would be rinsed tea, and it would have a smoother flavor, so they tell me, and I will take a still shot of what came through. So that's that's really it. That is the story on rinsing your tea before you steep it. So I would like to thank you once again for watching our videos on tea. If you're passionate about tea and you know other people who are interested in tea, please share the channel and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like if you enjoy the video. And next time, 
We will be back with probably a longer and more detailed video. Everything loose leaf tea. That's what you'll find here. Thanks, friends. I truly appreciate it.